You're making me do this because you can't say it. The Netherlands knocking out <laughs> oh, the U.S. men's soccer team over the weekend at the World Cup. Two of the team's players, Walker Zimmerman and Kellen Acosta, there they are. They are standing by to speak with us live right here in the studio. But first, Lou Reeve is still in Doha. The team is back, <laughs> but he's still there to talk about the last match and the hope going forward for the U.S. men. Good morning there, Will. I am still here, Robin. Good morning. It was a tough loss to a tough team. Some strong chances early for the U.S., but the Netherlands' counterattack proved too strong. They scored two goals in the first half. The U.S. tried to mount a comeback in the second. Ended up being a little too little too late. U.S. loses 3-1, to one, but we are proud of them. This team, the second youngest in the World Cup, living up to their motto, their mantra of brave, diverse, relentless. Superstar Christian Pulisic saying, quote, we deserved more, but we couldn't get it done, but lots of things we can be proud of. And they will be proud but not satisfied as they look ahead immediately to the 2026 World Cup in Canada, Mexico, and home in the United States. We qualify automatically, and there will be legitimate deserved expectations of real success deep in the tournament for this team in 26. This young core, this golden generation has its golden opportunity on home soil. And here in Doha, the World Cup rolls on. Messi, Neymar, Ronaldo, Mbappe all still alive. And if you're waiting for some American glory on the pitch, you don't have to wait four more years. You got the Women's World Cup coming up in just a few months, Rob. We do, Will. Thank you. But joining us right now, our U.S. soccer and Major League Soccer stars, Walker Zimmerman and Kellen Acosta. Come on, team. Come on now. <laughs> Welcome home, gentlemen. Welcome home. I know it wasn't the ending that you were hoping for, but so proud, so incredibly proud. You had people there cheering up for you at Doha. People, uh, the watch parties here were off the charts. Uh, let me start with you, Walker. Did you feel the support back here at home? We definitely did. Uh, it was iconic watching moments growing up as a kid, mm. seeing all the scenes of, of fans at the, the pubs and the bars. And so to get footage of, you know, Americans doing that for us while we're playing was, was really special. And we have a lot to be proud of. You do. How about for you, Kellen? Yeah. I mean, kind of just to reiterate what Walker said, the support was immense. And, um, you know, just seeing the clips of the different uh, fan bases from all over the different states was just, it was amazing. And we definitely felt it all the way in Qatar. And, um, yeah, we, we appreciate the support. Well, you gave us a lot to support. We appreciate that very much. And let's talk about your journeys because, let's see, with you, Walker, you starting the year, uh, replacing a player at the team's camp, okay? Then you become this indispensable starter at the World Cup and such a leader. So talk about your journey and your turnaround. Yeah, I mean, not uh, unlike a lot of other players, you have a lot of highs, a lot of lows, uh, and a lot of bumps in between. And so it was just another part of my journey was to not get called in last October, mm -hmm. come back with a vengeance and, and really having something to prove. And, uh, you know, turned out to, to play an important role in the World Cup and play an important role in this team. And it's the honor of a lifetime and, and couldn't be happier for those lows because they, they definitely yeah. made me stronger. And your family, they really know. They, they know, really know, they, know every, they know everything, they see everything, <laughs> they for sure. Do. They do. And for you, my friend, because the, the match against Wales, okay, <laughs> and you had a key play there, committing a foul, it was going to be a sure goal, leads to the tie against somebody you play f with, yeah. a teammate yeah. you play with. So what was it like for you, Kellen, to know that you played a key role for the U.S.? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely an experience of a lifetime, a childhood dream becoming a reality. And uh, for me, I mean, I, you know, I play a different role. I mean, obviously, I didn't start like Walker did in some games, but uh, it's one of those things where, you know, when my name was called, I was ready. And, you know, I saw that moment with me, me and Gareth. And it was one of those things where I didn't think twice about it. I'm like, I, I got to take him down. <laughs> Even though, I mean, we're teammates back home in, right. in L.A., but it's one of those things where for my country, for mm -hmm. our country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's how you all feel. I mean, you really feel this representation for the, for the country when you are there. And uh, okay, second youngest team, talk about the future, especially with the next World Cup that's gonna be here on home soil. Yeah, future is really bright for this team. Um, you mentioned what a special group of players we have. So many players from different backgrounds uh, that creates a really unique mix of players. And to have the youth that we have you know, young players playing at, at high-level teams. Um, we're going to be coming back stronger in 2026, and 
to obviously have the chance for the U.S. to be a host country for that right. World Cup. Um, it'll be nice to, to be on home soil for, for those games. I know, and you said, Kelvin, this was a lifelong dream to be a, right. a member of the World Cup. So four years from now, if you're still on the team, to be here in the U.S., what would that mean to you? I mean, it'd be huge. I mean, it'd be another accomplishment. I mean, it's, it's going to be a long four years, but uh, like Walker said, I mean, we're building momentum. I think uh, having the games here on home soil is going to be huge. I know the support's going to be immense. And I know we're excited for it. We have a, a, a young group, mm -hmm. guys that, you know, gained valuable experience in, in this World Cup. And I know come 26 that we're going to be hungry and we'll be ready. So what do you what do you both want to do now? That you're back here home, <laughs> you've sacrificed so much. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want to do? I think Kellen's first answer would be sleep. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, long flight back, not a lot of sleep, but... Uh, Honestly, just relax. It's been such a, a grind yeah. over the past couple of years. Always wondering, am I going to make the squad? Can mm -hmm. I get minutes? Like, it's just a real battle. So to finally have that moment before we start up again in January, <laughs> right. uh, to enjoy the holidays, enjoy family and friends that you know have been with you through everything. Yeah. Uh, to just enjoy them and celebrate them, and kind of lay low for a little bit. It'll be nice. Well, you uh, definitely. I mean, for me, Christmas is it's a special time of the year for me. I get to you know go back home uh, with my friends and family. So now it's one of those things where I kind of just get to relax and breathe a little bit and well, just enjoy great company. Well, you're both deserving. You're both great company. Thank you for being here in the studio. Yeah. It means so much. And not many people can say that they played in the World Cup, but you two can. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you for having us. Uh, one of your biggest fans over there, Cecilia. Uh, don't bother me, Robin. I'm taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking pictures. Guys. Congratulations, guys. Right. Thanks for being here. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.